So hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are watching my video for the very first time, I want to encourage you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And also do me a favor to turn on the notification bell icon because what I do in this channel is that whenever I find any politics news and um, um, celebrity updates which is trending and you know vital, I bring them down to this channel for you guys to see for yourself and you know for us to share our own opinion concerning that particular update. So if you are watching my video for the very first time, kindly do me a favor, a easy favor just to tap on the subscribe button. And if you want to get your notification, and what the notification bell icon does is that whenever I drop a new video on this channel and you are not in the YouTube app, you are going to get a notification that yes, the Scenario 247 just put down a new video on this channel and you can easily dive in and get the right update at the right time. You know, they say added um, the impeaching, they say update not a finish because update is always up to date. That's why we are here with another update concerning Nam the Kano's release because Nam the Kano has finally taken another bold step. You understand? The US um organization in the US have finally put mouth that yes, Nam the Kano must be released. Whether Bala Ahmed Tinubu like it or not, Nam the Kano must be released. So if you have watched the video to this particular point and you haven't seen the subscribe button, please do me a favor to hit that subscribe button. It's very, very important. And also turn on the notification bell icon. And also like this video so that YouTube can recommend it to more people out there looking for such information and they can join us to become one family. So, you understand, Namikana has been detained because they fight an allegation against him that he's participating in terrorism out in Nigeria, that he's supporting them. And, you know, since then, they detained Namikana and since then they haven't released him. Is still in the custody of the DSS after several trial. Since um this thing they have been trying, the um, um lawyers in Nigeria have been trying hard to see that Nam the Kano is released, but yet nothing has been done. Nam the Kano is still the end of the DSS, and even some doctors have come up to check on Nam the Kano, and they still find out that Nam the Kano is even developing sickness in the you know in the hands of the DSS. Or um, some other sources carried it out that Nam the Kano is developing um this thing congestive cancer. Some say congestive um this thing heart attack. But I believe Nam the Kano has none of this. That you know they are just trying to you know make him you know look like as if he's already weak. Maybe they can do something to him and just kill him. But no, it that it can't happen because Nam the Kano is a man of his word and he also do good things when he's outside. So let me now explain to you in details what um the U.S. military veterans. Thing um, said about the release of Nam Kanu that have shocked, you know, the whole Nigeria and Tinubu himself because Tinubu um, have have been imposed for I think for the past nine months to one year, but hasn't even uttered any words concerning Nam Kanu arrest. He has been busy releasing some notorious kidnappers, releasing some people. But why is it that he's not putting out in Nam Kanu's case? Because he also believed that Nam Kanu is a man that can expose. The bad atrocities that they have been committing across Nigeria, him himself will be exposed if he in American is out. That's why he has kept mute and he doesn't want to say anything. But the truth will be out very soon. So stick with me to the very end of this video so we can know why the US military veterans have now come out to talk concerning Namdikanu's case. Okay, so Governor Uzodima in trouble as US military veterans fingered him over. Kanu's continued detention. And so, so the first person the US um veterans actually laid their hands on is um um hope uh, Muzo Dima. Yes, that is the first person that they laid their hand on that is part of people that have been making them the Kanu detention very, very long. And the con the continued detention of the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, which is IPOB, they are referring to Nam the Kanu as end. Governor Hope, who's the man of Imo State, the rat of American military veterans of Igbo descent, which they are the short formula for it is AVID, Avid, okay? Avid alleged that the governor is the mastermind of Kanu continued detention. So, they're not exposing Hope, who's the man now. You can see that sometimes, look at what an Igbo man is also doing to an Igbo man. That's wickedness. They, they, they are exposing him that his part is the one, is the main reason why they have been detaining Nam the Kano. You know when I was saying it in my previous video that why Nam the Kano has not been released, it's not even because of the, the allegation they file against him. It's those politicians that are making money with insecurity. They don't want Nam the Kano to be out because, you know, the money they make in, in insecurity from the East is higher, is most, mostly high. Because, you know, the East carries a lot of businessmen, a lot of natural resources. So, they try to be kidnapping people from the East and claim to collect ransom. You understand? Lately, um, people in, I think, in Kogi State, the people in Kogi State are complaining that 
Kidnappers will just come target a at least an average businessman that they know that okay is doing well and they will kidnap him. You understand? After kidnapping him, they will demand for ransom. Sometimes they kidnap the wife, sometimes they kidnap the businessman himself. So the avid, therefore, challenging Uzo Dima to prove his innocence in all these plots, the alleged engagement of Asari Dokubo men in the Ebu Be Agu outfit. Okay, the US military veterans. In an open letter entitled Your Excellency, undermindable hostility for Igbo and the need for change of mind, told Uzodima to trade with caution. You understand? So, this, um, they have actually been tackling Uzodima first before they can now move. And I believe after that, more and more politicians will be exposed, including, you know, some top politicians who have ruled Nigeria will also be exposed. Let Namdi Kanu be out and let these U.S. military veterans keep their good work to see that Namdi Kanu is out. So, hello, so, after watching this video, I want you to share your own opinion in the comment section. Tell me what you think about this um, particular update and do you believe Namdi Kanu will be released for me? Yes, as long as these U.S. veterans have put their mouth, Namdi Kanu will surely be released and will be released very soon because I believe they are coming with solid evidence and strong evidence that yes, Namdi Kanu is going to be released. So hello guys, share your own opinion in the comment section. Let me see what you think about this particular video. And I'll be very, very much happy and very, very much um, just active to reply to you guys in the comment section. See you in my next video.